Cryptocurrency mining is an intense process for even the best graphics card. When mining these resources, your PC will be at full load on the GPU for long periods of time. Going for the absolute most expensive and powerful GPU available may not be the best call for all crypto miners. Which is why we've rounded up some of the best mining GPUs to help you make the right choice. Without further delay, let's get started. On Tech Insight, we offer the perfect buyer's guide for all kinds of tech products, including PCs, laptops, accessories, and any other tech gadgets you can think of. Our specialized team of tech experts research and analyze the market and create a list based on pricing, quality, features and user feedback, ensuring you get the absolute best in each category. To find the best suited products according to your specific needs and preferences, watch the full video and look for the purchase links in the description. Number 5 on our list is the MSI Gaming GeForce GDX 1660 Super, the best budget-friendly NVIDIA-produced GPU for mining in 2022. The GDX 1660 Super is an interesting, unique GPU. It's built on the same Turing architecture as the RDX 20 series of GPUs, but it doesn't have dedicated ray tracing cores or fancy features like DLSS. It's designed to be a budget-friendly graphics card with enough power to handle the latest games at 1080 pixels. For mining, the story is the same. You'll find it on the earnings chart with a hash rate of 26 mega hashes per second, which is not overwhelming but at the same time very effective. This GPU draws around 125 watt of power, which is great if you live in an area with high electricity costs. You just leave this little puppy running continuously and you'll bag yourself some income to spend or save. Other notable features of this GPU include 6GB of GDDR6 VRAM and high memory bandwidth at 236GB per second. Not bad if you can find one at such a reasonable price. You don't need the most powerful GPU to make a little mining crypto, and the MSI Gaming GeForce GDX 1660 Super is a fine example of this. So if you're looking for such a graphics card, this is the one to go for. At the number 4, we have picked the XFX Radeon RX 580, the best budget AMD graphics card for mining. Many of you prefer AMD CPUs over Intel ones. We all know that these CPUs perfectly sync with the AMD GPUs. For those who have AMD CPUs and want to have efficient mining on a low budget, the Radeon RX 580 can be a perfect alternative for the NVIDIA GPUs. From the outside, the skirt understated appearance is neither gaudy nor cheap looking. It's classy, but not plain. The plastic fan shroud resembles polished metal. XFX Radeon RX 580 is a GPU that may not be near the top of mind for gamers and miners, but if you just want to earn a few pennies here and there, this graphics card will do just that without any issues. This GPU runs on an optimized configuration that offers hash rate of around 28 mega hashes per second, which isn't too bad considering the power draw of 185 watt, which can be dropped considerably like other GPUs. Crypto mining is all about memory, and having 8GB of GDDR5 is great for running nice hash and other mining solutions. If you don't have much of a budget to spare on a GPU for crypto mining, fear not as there are some great cards out there for a low price. Such a card is the Radeon RX 580. Although it is an old GPU but is still capable of hitting 28 mega hashes per second, which makes for a tidy profit. Up next, presenting you the best mid-range crypto mining graphics card, the NVIDIA GeForce RDX 2070 Founder Edition GPU. The NVIDIA GeForce RDX 2070 stands firmly in that middle ground to give you quite a bit of performance for a bit less than the price of NVIDIA's flagship. 
It splits the difference between value and performance in the Turing series of graphics cards. So while the GeForce RTX 2080 and RTX 2080 Ti both deliver outstanding performance, it's the RTX 2070 that delivers more value to most consumers. It's a great GPU for gaming as well as a great option for value mining rigs. As long as you can buy one at a decent price, you'll be enjoying anywhere up to 40 mega hashes per seconds for the hash rate, which should bring in considerable passive income with a power draw of around 225 watts. The 8GB GDDR6 RAM lets you do more during intensive crypto mining. The best part is that, if you decide to stop mining, you can resell this GPU for a price that will cover your initial investment. But if you fancy building a gaming PC, it will be able to handle even more recent collection of PC games. Because it has been around for a while, and you can even go one step further with your mining setup and add water cooling with blocks. To sum up, the Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 Founder Edition may be from the previous generation of cards, but still an excellent GPU for gaming and crypto mining. It's possible to achieve a hash rate of 40 mega hashes per second, which isn't too bad considering the lower cost of these older GPUs, as well as the low power draw. Moving on to the next one, we have the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT, the runner-up GPU for mining on our list. It's not just Nvidia GPUs that are worth buying for cryptocurrency mining. AMD as well makes some excellent graphics cards like the RX 5700 XT. While it's not quite as good as our top pick RDX 3090, this card will still be able to push through an intensive period of mining. AMD made a large leap with the RDNA GPUs like the RX 5700 XT. It's based on a 7 nanometer manufacturing process and makes even the company's own older Radeon cards look ancient and power-hungry. Even though the RX 5700 XT isn't the latest and greatest GPU from AMD, it's actually one of the best value propositions for crypto mining. If we talk about gaming, well it's good enough for 1440 pixels gaming just like the flagship Nvidia GPUs and is very good at mining. While well, AMD cards miss out on some of the gamer-focused features like DLSS 2.0 and the same level of ray tracing as in Nvidia GPUs, it's mining where this GPU really takes off. Its average hash rate is just shy of 55 mega hashes per second coupled with the 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM. It uses much lower power as low as 225W so it's not as power-hungry as the RDX 3090. While you could go for the RX 6800, which costs a little more but is capable of a higher frame rate in gaming, but the 5700 XT is just such a good value proposition. So if you want to start mining, the RX 5700 XT is a worthwhile choice to consider. At number 1, we have the FGOD GeForce RDX 3090, the best NVIDIA-based GPU for mining on our list. This is the most powerful GPU from NVIDIA's RDX 30 series to date. It has everything you need to create a powerful mining rig. It is made for the people who aren't interested in 8K gaming with the latest ray tracing technology, also for people who are interested in hardcore mining. It's an obvious choice for best performance, but the RTX 3090 from Evga truly isn't a class of its own. It's incredible at gaming, pushing boundaries in 4K, even 8K, if you can afford to buy an 8K panel as well as crypto mining. We are talking about a hash rate of 121 mega hashes per seconds, 24 gigabyte of GDDR6X VRAM, and more than 10,000 CUDA cores for gaming. In a single word, it's a monster. While well, AMD has undoubtedly cut into Nvidia's claim to the GPU throne with its Radeon RX 6000 cards, its top tier option still belongs to Team Nvidia. For gaming, DLSS 2.0 and 2.1 are perhaps some of the most impressive features that come standard with the GPU. It employs dedicated tensor codes to run AI rendering in real time, 
effectively boosting frame rates while also making frames come out at a much higher resolution. So even after a longer use, you'll still have a decent resale value of this graphics card to gaming enthusiasts, especially in the global GPU storage situation. Overall, this GPU is about as good as you can get right now in terms of gaming performance. The same goes for GPU mining. So as long as you can afford the initial investment, you won't be able to find a better option for returns. Thank you for watching the video. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon for instant notifications, so that you never miss a video from Tech Inside.